Hi, in this video we will discuss about SAP Simple Finance Solution and then we will see how we can expand the GL coding block and how we can display the different financial tables using the SAP Simple Finance system. So first of all, let's see what is a Simple Finance Solution. So SAP Simple Finance Solution provides an accounting solution which is powered by SAP HANA. S4 HANA Finance comes with the different finance and accounting management processes and supports the operations efficiently. So it can be deployed in the cloud or on-premise. It is designed to be easy to use and it can deliver instant insight for the finance professionals. So this is the snapshot from the SAP Fury Launchpad for SAP Simple Finance Solution. So we can see here that we have different tiles and we have the different groups. So like under my home group, I have the different tiles like explore the financial results, display the financial statements, display the GL account balance. So this way we have the groups and the tiles underneath. So now let's see it in the actual system how the SAP Fury Launchpad looks like. So we'll go to our SAP Simple Finance Solution system. So this is my SAP Simple Finance Solution where I have the shortcut for this SAP Fury logon. So if I click on it, it will open up in the browser. So if you directly have this URL, you can simply go to this URL. Otherwise, you can create the shortcut and you can open it. Now here we have to enter the username, password. After that, we can select the language and then we can click on this logon. So we have the option of the change password as well on this launchpad login page. So now we will log into the using my SAP username. So we will enter the username and the password and we will click on the logon. So once we will click on the logon, it will load the SAP Fury launchpad which will be visible to my end users. So we can see the different groups and the tiles inside each group. Now, how these tiles will be displayed to the user? Will it be like that all the tiles will be displayed to all the users? No. So the tiles will be displayed as per the user access the user have. So if the user has the access only to few, the few of the tiles, so only those tiles will be vi visible to the user, not all the tiles. So let's wait till it load this page where we can see all the groups and the tiles underneath. Now here we can see that we have different groups like operational processing. After that we have the group for the general reporting. Then we have for the master data. So similarly we have multiple groups here and each group has the associated tiles with it. Like in the operational processing, we have the tiles like the non-integrated asset acquisition, asset sale with invoice, asset intra-company transfer, asset retirement by scrapping, asset sale without customer. So all these tiles will be available to the users with the assigned roles and the users, they can log in to the Fury Launchpad and with these easy to use tiles, they can perform the actions. So if we scroll down, we can see that we have the different groups here. Like now we have the general reporting. So my general reporting, I have the tiles like asset balances, asset total depreciation, history, transaction list, depreciation reporting, 360 degree view of my asset. So this way I can use any of the tile which I want to use. So I can go to this top menu where I have the general reporting, master data, analytic United States. So I can either simply click on this one or I can use the scroll down. So if I click directly on this menu here, I will be able to see all the corresponding tiles inside that. So here we can see that under the asset under construction, we have the tiles like settlement, distribution rules, settlement, asset under construction, reverse settlement of asset under construction. Now, if the user want to personalize this, so we can use this edit. This 
pencil like icon we can click and it will take us to the personalized home page so if I click on this icon it will take me to the edit mode so I can see this message that now you can perform the actions on the tiles and the groups so here we can see that there is a bit difference in the layout so I can simply delete the existing tiles or if I want to add any tiles to the group I can click on this plus sign and I will be able to add the tiles similarly if I want to add a new group I can click on this add group and here I can see that I get the area below where I can add the tiles also I can enter the group name so this way we can personalize and again all these accesses they are corresponding to the rights of the particular user so if the user has the rights to the tiles then only that user will be able to see these tiles otherwise the user will not be able to see the tiles now let's go back to the presentation now after that we have these are the different offerings we have from the SAP simple finance solution so it enables the high speed real real time analytics at most granular level across all the financial dimensions without any constraints so we can go to any granular level using the SAP simple finance offering then it provides us one common view of real time harmonized financial and management accounting data for all the subsidiaries to help ensure the enterprise wide consistency and reduce the reconciliation time and the errors so we are getting the real time data so that's why it helps that the data is correct it will provide us the consistent data then it has the built in ability to use the prediction simulation and analysis to evaluate the financial implications of the strategic business options then it is the optimization of the business processes it is event driven processes with the real-time execution and we have just seen how beautiful layout it provides us in the form of HTML5 based user experience with SAP Fury which is the offering for the personalized modern and the consistent user experience on any application and on any device because we can open that Fury Launchpad using any device so it's not device dependent so we can open it from my mobile I can open it from my tablet I can open it from my desktop laptop any device then it is on-premise hybrid and the cloud deployment option and a non disruptive migration path so I have this of offering in the form of on-premise hybrid and the cloud option now let's go to the system and see how we can extend the GL coding block using the SAP simple finance solution so let's go back to the system again now instead of going to the SAP Fury Launchpad we will use the SAP Logon to log into this SAP Simple Finance Solution system so if we will double click on this here we have to enter the username and the password ok so now to extend the GL coding block we have to go to the SPRO so we will enter the transaction here and after that we have to click on this SAP reference IMG then we have to go to the financial accounting new so this is my financial accounting new I have to expand it and then underneath we have the financial accounting global settings so if we go to the global settings here then inside that we have the ledgers then we have the fields and under that we have the standard fields as well as the customer fields so we have to go to the customer fields for editing the coding block 
then we have to click on this edit coding block so we have different options inside this we have the option of edit coding block we have the option of regenerate the CDS views and the field mappings then we have define master data check include the customer fields in enjoy transactions so but for now we will use this edit coding block so once we will click on this edit coding block in the next window we have to click on this tick mark to confirm that the incorporation of the new fields in the SAP coding block so now once we will click on this we are able to see the two different options again so the first one is we have SAP standard account assignment and then we have the customer defined account assignment so here we have to expand this customer defined account assignment then we will click on this customer append structures and here we have this COBL FM so now we have to click on this and once we will click on this one so in the next window we have to enter the details so let's say if I double click on this so here I can see the different attributes and the components and the input help check and then the currency or the quantity fields so now we'll go back here and we will select this and we will click on this add fields so if we click on this add fields so here we have to enter the field name which we want to add the field label then we have to select the data type and the field length so we can select the data type by clicking on this mirror icon so if we click on this it will show us that we can select the character data type or we can select the character field with the numbers only so this way we can select the name label data type and the field length of the new field to be added so once we will click on this and then we can click on this execute here we have the option of the test run so if we want to do the test run we can click on this checkbox otherwise we can uncheck it and then we can click on this execute to add this newly added GL coding block field to the system so this is how we can add the we can add the coding GL coding block in the SAP simple finance solution after that now let's see how we can display the financial tables so there are the different financial tables like GLTO COSS BSCG so which we can access in the simple finance system so how we can display these financial tables so to display these financial tables we have the transaction code which is my SC16N so here we have to enter slash N SE16N and we'll click on enter so now in this window we can enter the name of the table which we want to display so let's say if I want to enter the table name which is FA F A G L and we are getting it in the drop down so we can select it directly from here and after that we can click on enter so once we will click on enter we can see the different fields which are inside this table so we have the fields like client fiscal year object number then we have the debit and credit so all these fields which are there so we can see that inside this table now let's say if I want to execute to see the data of it so if I select this table and if I go here to the table display execute and then we have this online so once we will execute this we will be able to see the data inside so here we can see that all this data exists in this particular table similarly if I want to see the general ledger total table which is now a HANA generated view table so we can enter the name of the table which is my I'll go back and here I can change the name of the table and I will enter the HANA generated view table here which is BSIS 
Once I'll click on here and click on enter, I will be able to see this table where I have my company code, GL, clearing, clearing document, assignment, fiscal year, document number. So all these fields which are related to this table, I can see. And if I want to display the data, I can again go to the table, display, execute and online. So here I can see the complete corresponding data of this table. Similarly, if you want to see the index table, which are HANA generated view tables like the COSS. So I can enter the table and I can search for it. I can go back. Let's go back to this. So here we can enter the name of the table, which is COSS. So we'll go here and we can enter the name as COSS and we'll click on enter. So again here we can see the content of this table. What are the different fields inside it? And then we can use this number of entries to see how many records this table has. So if I click on this number of entries, it will show me how many entries this table has. So I can see that this table has 100 entries inside it. So in this video, we have seen what is a SAP Simple Finance solution. After that, we have seen how we can add it, the GL coding block. And then we have seen how we can display the different financial tables using the Simple Finance solution system. So that's it. Thank you.